How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I didn't film an intro for this video So I am in my closet right now. We are about to come out of the closet I mean we are about to exit the closet and go start the live stream which segues into today's video Which is a live stream We're gonna be on discord and we're gonna have a live chat interacting with the video telling us some topics to talk about So it's gonna be more of like an interactive live stream I'm gonna be doing more things like this in the future So go ahead and join the discord link in the description down below You'll also be notified whenever I'm about to go live so you can be a part of the video but anyways, guys, hopefully you do enjoy this video. Uh, let's go and start the live stream. Oh, no. How many people do we have in the Discord as of right now? 7,400. Well, actually, no, I'll take that back. 7,462, yeah. Okay, so we're almost at 7,500. We're almost at 10,000. Wow, that's a lot. What do you think would be the best? Should we let the chat vote? Like, what would be the best thing to open up with? We could do... Wait, did you add everyone? I thought I did. No, you didn't. Oh, uh, then I'll do it right. Oh, what I channel did... did you do it in? Oh wait, no, I didn't press send. How do I, how do I send? Oh, you, you just click here. Oh, it's a send now. Yeah. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it gave me a warning. It was like warning. You're about to like overload the server. So, yeah. So I mean, if you guys are watching this in the video afterwards, go ahead and just click the link in the description down below. So, um, <clears throat> everyone joining in, joining in. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Oh, Let's go, dude. baby. <laughs> so, okay, so Mikey, what did you think would be the best fucking route to go to open this up? Like, should we do what I was kind of saying yesterday with the wheels? Should we do, like, the live, like, car judging? Like, which which one do you think would be the best first, like, episode? The Z06 would be a great topic to start off with. I mean, we could, we could talk about whatever, so, yeah. I don't Honestly, know. Honestly, though, I think, the, I think the Z06 would be a great topic to start off with. I don't know what like, Z06 you're talking some about. Stuff. The new one, the brand new one. Oh, the new the Z06. Z8. Oh, yeah, the C8, yeah. I the thought the you guys C8, were talking yeah. about some like submitted ass Z06 or something. No, we could totally talk about the new Z06. I mean, let's look at it really quick. And uh, I'm just gonna look at some photos of it really quick because I wanna get a good idea. I've seen some stuff on Instagram, and I mean, I like it more than the C8, just the base C8, obviously. I mean, I think most people would. God, but, I think it's fucking gorgeous, man, in that yellow. Fuck. Oh, you're looking at it in the yellow? Yeah, no, it's a great looking car, and I think they really did, like... My little issues with the C8 were the square exhaust tips, the flat fucking no-shape wheels that they had. Like, I'm gonna pull up both of them side by side, so... C8, Corvette. Sorry, I type really slow, and I also have a fucking uh, microphone in my face, so I can't see him. But looking at the normal C8, oh fuck, I want to look at a stock one. Yeah, okay, so I'm looking at this blue one. I don't know if you guys are on Google Images or anything. But like, look at the wheels. Like, they're just so flat up and down. Like, there's no shape to them. There's no concave. There's no depth. There's nothing. It's just flat up and down. It's just an ugly fucking car. I think that, like, I've seen modified ones, obviously, and they look sick. But I think the stock C8, ugly. The Z06, though, I feel like they listened to my complaints. And they went ahead and put some depth. This is the photo that I've seen on Instagram. Um, or at least like a render. I don't know. Is this a render or a photo? There's a few different wheel options it looks like. But the one that I saw was, was the five spoke and the wheels looked like they had depth. The exhaust tips are no longer square, which I think is a great upgrade. I'm fucking tired of these Lego land fucking exhaust tips. This shit looks way better. Let me find the rear end. What do you think, Mikey? Yeah, I'm actually on Chevy's own website, and they actually have all the pictures. I put RAR and, oh, they have it on their website? Uh, that is a lot smarter. Yes, they actually have it on their website. So they actually have a full 360 view of it, and uh, then they have the exhaust tips mm. that are circled, that are full zoomed in. It looks great. And there's three trim levels. There's wow. three trim levels. Okay, I see it right So here. one LZ, two LZ, and three LZ. Yeah, I'm, I mean, and I heard it's starting at like a good price too. Like it's like, what is it? A hundred and something thousand? Like low hundreds or something, right? I mean, that's before markup. Uh, we know markup's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, that's before markup, yeah. 670 horsepower, 2.6 seconds for zero to 60. I mean, it's a naturally aspirated V8, right? Yes, naturally aspirated, yep. That's crazy, How? Wow, what size is it? It is a... How many liters? Let's see here. Is eight liter and then it's a flat plane crane. I know. I heard the flat plane. You, you crane can actually. Did. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it right here. Okay, dual overhead oh cams. Wow, they're actually going dual overhead. Copying forward, huh? Fucking flat plane crank two copying forward. Yeah. See. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. This this is one of the photos I saw on Instagram. 
the rear end, I'm looking at the orange photo where it says track meets the streets, whatever, who cares? You know, fuck the track, okay? No, but um, I'm looking at it and dude, the rear end looks like the next generation of Corvette. It looks like they took the C7 and just upgraded and made it look way better. Uh, the wing, I mean, if you're going for the whole exotic look, I mean, it does look like an exotic wing. It's not the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But the wheels, I think they just, I think the wheels, this is how the C8 should have looked. These flat fucking... The wheels definitely look better. Yeah. The, the wheels look way better. Just Google stock C8 Corvette and look at the hot wheels that they threw on that bitch. And then look at the new one. And it's like, you got concave, you got shape. You, that's what you fucking need. You, you know, what? you got no, no offset on this shit. No camber, no Wait, nothing. it's 8,600 RPM? Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, it's a high revving bitch. That bitch, <laughs> oh it's gonna my scream. 8,600 RPM, man. That is... God. I bet you can go higher of a tune. Oh, definitely. I bet you. That's how the front Someone's end looks. Someone's gonna go for 9K. <laughs> oh, easily, dude. That's how the front end looks. It looks like an NSX, straight up. It does look like an NSX. I think it's cool. Uh, yeah. what, what other concept cars? Does, does Acura have the Integra out, like, on, the, on their website? That thing is fucking hideous. And it's a shame. Because it's gonna cost, like, fifty or $60,000. Is it on their website yet? Looks like it, a, it looks, looks like, like the rear of a Genesis. Yeah, it looks like a Genesis. I mean, if that's all they now, have, also, it's a four door. It looks like a sedan. Yes, it's a four. It's a four door. Yeah. That's disappointing. I don't want to see a four door. What? Oh. And it's supposed to use electric. I mean, electric isn't bad, but four door and electric, it's like you're not going to compete with yeah, Tesla. Yeah, I just found the front. Where? I just found the front of it with the headlights. Where it you definitely it? is electric with those headlights. Car and driver. Car and driver. The link right below it. I, I mean, uh, I can't tell much from this photo. I mean, it's, it's a, such a zoomed-in photo. Yeah, they're definitely... But by looking at the headlights, it's definitely electric, 100%. It looks like Hyundai Genesis fucks Mercedes-Benz. Like, that's what it looks like in the rear end. What other new cars are coming out? <laughs> Has anyone else revealed anything? Um, I don't know. Because nothing's really been hyped about, really. No, nothing, nothing like the Z06. I think the Z06 right now is the new hot, hot kid on the block, and I think. Uh, oh, that's a good topic too. The 400Z. Oh, the 400 Z. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Yeah. Okay. So I have a couple complaints about the car, but most of it is positive. I, I just, I like 90% of the car. I just don't like the front grille. I don't know why it's a fucking square or a rectangle. It's like so perfectly rectangle. You know what? I kind of have to agree. I have to agree with it. I think it could have done something. A little bit more rounder around the edges. They could have just gave it a little bit more shape. Like I love the rear end. I'm looking at it, and I love the tail lights. I love the silhouette. I love the wheels. They have some shape to them. That's one of my biggest complaints about fucking stock cars that they have yeah, no shape. I, I love. I love. I just rear don't rear like the too. front end. I wonder how it would look if they just gave it more of like a trapezoid look or something. It just looks like a fucking. It looks like I don't know a, a an '80s RoboCop. You know, I don't know. I haven't seen RoboCop in quite some time. Oh yeah, they're making a Nismo. Yeah, R33, dude, they're making a Nisbo 400Z. Like, that's gonna happen. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna happen. I, I think it's cool that, like, Nissan isn't, like, fucking, you know, caving in and making everything automatic like a lot of other places are. Yeah, but here's my thing, though. Is it gonna be a good manual transmission? Who who makes it, did, did they say? Is it... No, I don't know anyone that has facts about it. I don't know. If it's Tremec, we can, we can, we can trust it, we, you know, but... Yeah, know. but I will say the interior on the 400Z is so much fucking better. Oh my god! I haven't seen because interior. every other Z interior has been shit, and I am not going to <laughs> deny that. Has the interior ever changed on the Z interior? Like, okay, so yeah, this does look a lot nicer. Um, I like, uh, oh my god, it looks so much better. I see elements of the other Zs, like the little gauge pods up there on the center, and I think that's very cool. Um, it looks a lot nicer. It does look a lot more modern. That couple, the, the center console is so sleek, but the front grille is just the Very complete clean. opposite. That's what, that's what I don't get. You're gonna make everything super sleek on the car and then just have this fucking Xbox One X front grille, just gigantic. Just, it's the only complaints I have is this front grille. It is just too square. You know, what else? What other cars? But yeah, I think that's a... Hey, wait, you're... you're well, you, let's see. Do you consider yourself an off-road boy? You know what? No, I, I've been seeing there's there's this new um, okay, there's two new trucks. Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll talk about trucks right now. There's that Hyundai, that new Hyundai truck. It's like a short truck or something. The, the Hyundai's garbage to carry on. Okay, but let's let's take a look at it. What is it? The Hyundai uh... Santa Cruz. It looks like the 
looks like the brother to the ridge line. It, it looks a Honda's truck designs are just hideous, and you can't change my mind. No, they well they don't they're not like okay because I mean they're not designed. They're not real trucks, bro. For work, yeah, they're like you know you want a truck, but you want something that's gonna get good gas mileage and like you know, but you want to be able to carry also, the occasional chair. Twenty four thousand dollars, and it's only twenty seven miles per gallon and two hundred eighty one. Just get an SUV. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that. I mean, I'm not a truck guy. If it was between this and a Tacoma, I'm taking a Tacoma. If it was between this and a Colorado, I'm taking a Colorado. If it's between this and a Ridgeline, though, I think we have a topic now. I think we have a discussion. These trucks are made for Europe? I mean, if they're made for Europe, then, then why is America getting them? Because America wants everything from everywhere because we're greedy and we just, we're fucking Like, because, I mean, pigs. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Not, Hyundai's... Like uh, Hyundai trucks. Okay, I've never but been look it. So there's a new Ford. There's a new Ford truck as well. The Maverick. Yeah. What do you think about that? Because that is like very similar to this fucking Hyundai. I will take the Maverick over to Santa Cruz. I would take the Maverick over to Santa Cruz. Now here's this hot take. Would you take the Maverick over the new Lightning? The new Lightning. Yeah, all electric. Oh, I don't like uh, electric truck. Ew. Yeah, all electric truck. What do you think? What, I mean, dude. No, it, God, no, God, no. Instant no. torque. Instant tr torque when you're trying to tow. Bye, bye, better life. Bye, he'll be fine. I don't know, man. It, they show that shit pretty damn nice. I mean, I, I like the Maverick. The Maverick looks. The Maverick actually looks more like a Ridge Line than another truck. This doesn't look like a <laughs> a very masculine truck. Yeah, but I mean, like. I like the Maverick. If I had to choose between the Maverick and the Santa Cruz, I'm taking the Maverick. If I had to choose between the Maverick and the Lightning, though, I think the Lightning does like zero to sixty. A full size truck in like, I think it's like four seconds or something like that, like five seconds. Right, but here's the thing, though. Yeah. It's a truck. You have to tow with it. Yeah, Towing I know. On a gas engine already is kind of well. I say, let's say gas. Let's as this topic yeah as in diesel or whatever right? it already drops below 10 miles per gallon at the limit of mm -hmm. your towing capacity it drops down below 10 miles per gallon so like yeah. if you're getting 21 you're about at around 11 or 10. okay but electric but the batteries he even on teslas if you are using the fastest mode possible your battery is dying quicker than anything else well no shit but i mean like i'm sure ford has some sort of let's go on ford ford's website i'm sure they they have like some crazy stats like it's not like the ford lightning is going to have a lot more battery capacity than a fucking tesla model 3 just because of how big the truck is it's going to be able to handle or hold a lot more battery i mean i don't know how fucking why did it take me to chevy's website no ford i wouldn't use this car to go on a fucking road trip i'll tell you that i don't think it's possible but 100% electric. Dude, okay. This thing is trash. 300 mile range, and that's it. Yeah, but I mean, if you're not going across the state, I mean, how, okay, I don't know how far you drive to your you job get site. A yeah, but what if you need to carry your work tools? Then you should probably have a gas truck. Why not an electric one? The, I, like, I don't think it, it'll, it, it's definitely not as useful as a gas truck, because you can't go, like, you know, to the middle of the fucking desert and sleep out there and shit. But it has its uses. I don't think, I definitely don't think they should have called it a lightning though. They should have just called it like. Here's the thing though. Zeus. The cool. non upgraded battery is only 230. That's fucking useless. Yeah, it's pretty low. That's 300, only 300 miles. And then if you're towing 5,000 pounds, that's cut in half. Yeah, I mean, but that's how, literally cut in half. how far do you have to tow? It doesn't matter how far you have to tow. It's the wait period. No, I know. And practically, and then also it comes down to Ford's charging stations are not reliable at all. Oh, that I don't know about. I cannot contest. Yeah, it, you literally, if uh, if you look up MKBHD, they did a Tesla versus a Mach E and a Porsche. Mm -hmm. You will have to add on two hours because of the charging stations that Ford gives you They're that so are not reliable and or shut down. Yes, they are trash. Period. I don't the, care what anyone else the says. The Mach E is definitely not a Mustang. Um, I'll, I'll look at that. That right is too. the the, the Mach E it's is in the too. SUV what? section, so they even know it's not a fucking car or anything like that. Like, ah, I keep kicking my camera. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Forty-two thousand dollars. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad. Zero to sixty in three point five seconds for an SUV, though. Like, 
It probably feels. But look at Tesla's Model X or Y. Pretty quick. Yeah, but what's the price difference? I mean, they're both pretty fucking high. What well, Tesla <laughs> Model what Model Y? Well, let's do that. Model X or Y? Which one's the cheaper one? Okay, Model X, yeah. Model Model Y. Is, I don't remember that. Is about fifty five thousand. The Model X. And again, this is just MSRP, just coming off of Google. Ew, the Mustang 2? No, that doesn't even count as a Mustang either. Get rid of that too. Okay, so the Model X is $100,000. The Model Y is $55,000. And the Mach-E starts at $42,000. So you're, you're saving, what, thirteen grand, twelve grand, if you buy the Mustang? Does the Mustang self-drive in the crowds? I mean, uh, self-drive on the road? <laughs> it probably should. The California Route One, fifty thousand. The premium is forty-eight. The GT is sixty thousand. Sixty. I mean, what does it come with? Much better range either. Four hundred and eighty horsepower, six hundred foot-pounds of torque. With what? Him. That's it. I mean, I don't know what the what does the Tesla have for torque. Tesla. What, the Model Y? You can get a Model X with a thousand horsepower? Yeah. Where? What's it called? Is it just another plaid or something? Oh, yeah, it is a plaid. No, no, that's that's the, uh, that's, what is it, the Super? Actually, I'm no, the plaid, they do have a plaid version of the X. I mean, the plaid. Horsepower. Wait, they do? It seems like it. Unless it's just a Miss Google thing. I mean, it might not be out yet. 2022 Model X Plaid. Yeah, I don't think it's out yet. Yeah, 5,300 pounds. I think it's heavy. 1,020 horsepower. Dude, I can't believe they're selling the GT for $60,000. That is high. How much does a normal Mustang GT go for nowadays? Mustang GT. Well, my bad. EcoBoost starts at 27. EcoBoost Premium, 33. You're a chump. I'm sorry, EcoBoost Convertible, 32. Oops, and there's a lot of EcoBoosts. Okay, the GT Fastback, the base, 36,000. That seems pretty fair. I think that's pretty damn fair. I, I don't think, I mean, I was gonna talk about the Bronco for a bit, but. Uh, the first Bronco they came out with, ugly. The fucking new one, the, the four door, so much better. Yeah, so much better. Yeah, the two door looks like shit. I wouldn't get the two door, but. The two door the, looks so bad. The, the four door <laughs> looks, the four door is where it's at. I don't know if my my buddy is getting one in December. I don't know if he's getting the two door or the four door. I think he's getting the four door. I think so. But here's my thing. Let's look at the original Ford Bronco. You got the Bronco one and the Bronco two. They oh. both look great. Mm -hmm. You get the new Bronco. The two door literally looks like the worst fucking SUV ever made. And then you have the four door that literally looks the best. No. How does that even happen? Do you, How did the four door? You want to know the, the worst SUV ever made? Google Nissan. I actually want to know your. Moreno convertible. That's the worst SUV ever made. I mean, if it has a CVT transmission, yeah, I agree. It has a fucking drop top SUV. That's the worst the car ever made. I don't think there's any discussion. I think, they're, they're, like, no one can tell me that the Pontiac Aztec or a Honda Civic or anything is worse than this car. What the fuck is that thing? They just posted a picture of it. What? What? It looks like someone ate half of jelly bean and put it on fucking wheels. It is disgusting. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It is, like, it is the most, like, not looked upon car. Like, everyone forgets about it, that it exists. Like, it's, it, it, it needs to be forgot about. <laughs> Yeezy slide looking head ass. It is, it is nasty. It is definitely the worst car. Hey, there, okay, listen, the Ford Flex is a wagon, okay? We don't pick on wagons. No, nah, the Ford okay? Flex, I think, is fine. I'd rather have a Ford Flex than most of these cars. The PT Cruiser, I'd rather have the PT Cruiser than a fucking drop-top SUV. I 